exciting video for you guys today. If you couldn't tell by the title, it's a nail polish video. It is a Rescue Beauty Lounge video, and it is a Rescue Beauty Lounge collaboration. <clears throat> This is the first time G has ever collaborated with someone outside of Rescue Beauty Lounge, so with like another company, for example. And the collection name is called R29 and Rescue Beauty Lounge, or Refinery29 and Rescue Beauty Lounge. And it is a beautiful collection of colors, so I'm very excited to show you guys. Um, first things first, I know I didn't have an October favorites up, I just, I didn't have any beauty favorites for this month. I had a couple of random favorites. It wasn't enough to make a video. Um, it would have been like a three minute video and it was just not, yeah. So this is the first time I've never had a favorites video for the month and I feel a little weird, but I feel like I'm making up for it with this video because this one's gonna be amazing. There are seven colors in this collection. Um, Refinery 29 split up into seven teams, or I guess they are split up into seven teams, and they each provided an inspiration board as well as information for colors that they wanted you to make. And um, I love these colors. I think they're beautiful. I absolutely love them. Um, one of them is definitely a color that I've been looking for forever and like looking to purchase forever, and I'm so happy that G made it. And the rest of the colors are just beautiful universally stunning colors. The first color is called Bubblegum Punk and this is the color uh, by the news team at Refinery29 and it is a very sheer icy sort of shimmery color. It goes on super sheer at the first coat um, and it has a really nice the same way that like MAC Reflex Pearl and MAC Reflex Teal and like those sort of glitters um, they look white but they reflect colors. That's kind of what this is in a bottle. It is absolutely stunning. The most obvious shimmery bits in this for me are teal and pink, which is why I brought up MAC Reflex Teal. Um, but when you layer it, you definitely get a lot more of the shimmer and it goes on super, super icicly and really gorgeous. It's kind of like Elsa from Frozen, if she was like, if her magic was like in a nail polish, it would be this. Um, it's very multifaceted. It's super, super pretty. It's one of those colors that you could wear on your own or over another color, um, especially over a dark color. This, the different bits of shimmer in there will pop out really, really nicely. Um, this is a color that I think I'm going to reach for quite a bit this winter just because it's got that like icy feeling, but um, you can use it on its own and you can pair it up again. So it's a really multifaceted, multi-use product and it is just stunning. This one, um, in terms of like opacity and formula, on one coat you get quite actually a bit of shimmer and then with two coats it's pretty much opaque. Uh, in the swatches that I have that I'll have kind of blipping in through this video, um, all of the swatches in this video are going to have two coats. I will have swatches also in my blog and I will be linking that down below as well as all the other bloggers that are always affiliated with Rescue Beauty Lounge. Again, I absolutely love them and I'm totally humbled to be on that list of people. Um, and so yeah, I will link all of them down below so you guys can see all of their swatches, which is, you know, always beneficial because you'll be able to see these colors on a different skin tone than mine, um, as well as there will be like better photos of these nail polishes so you guys can see them a little bit better. The next color is called Better Than Your Boyfriend Jeans and it is a very sort of cloudy, milky, light blue color. It is a cream color and it's got a little bit of a dustiness to it. Fun fact, this is basically the color that I want to paint my this room. This is my filming room. This is essentially that color and I pulled it out of the box and I was like, gee, we're like totally on the same mental page. Um, it is a stunningly beautiful color. It's very innocent, but it's also a little bit mysterious. It's misty. It's a little bit foggy. In certain lines, it can look, in certain lights, it can look a little bit brighter. In certain lights, it looks a little bit dustier. Um, so it's kind of chameleon-like. Um, which a lot of sort of gray toned blues can be. This one was opaque and fully opaque in two coats. This is another color that I think will be really nice in the winter because it's it's a nice sort of fresh color that I don't think a lot of people wear in the winter. I don't think baby blues are something that people reach for, but this sort of shade is definitely gonna be very nice in the winter. The shopping team is the one that inspired this color, and I think that's really, really cute that it's called Better Than Your Boyfriend Jean. Again, I totally love that that gray tone is in there because it just makes it a little bit more fresh and a little bit more um, new in terms of the light blues that you can get out there. There are a lot of really bright baby blues out there, but just this slight subtleness in this color makes it really quite unique within my collection, and it's a really, really gorgeous color. 
The Refinery29 Health and Wellness team made this color. This one is called Sunny Skies and it is a nice um, slightly jade toned turquoise greenish blue color which is super vague. Um, it is again a slightly more dusty color. It's really really pretty. It is a kind of like mermaidy tail sort of color. <laughs> To give you more abstract imagery. Uh, it's another very beautiful color. I think it's another really nice winter color. And I think you can get away with this sort of shade because of the dustiness of the polish and just, I think it's just not a bright color, but it is in the sense that it's not, you know, not a lot of people wear like mid-toned greenish blues in the winter. It is stunning. This will be really, really nice on the fingers and toes. This one was also opaque in two coats. This next one is brought to you by the fashion team and it's called All About Eves. And I will tell you right now, when I open the box for this, I have not been this excited for a nail polish in a very long time. Um, this sort of shade of bright cobalt blue has been really popular the last couple of years. Um, I have been trying to get my hands on the perfect formula and the perfect bottle and the perfect color of this. I have literally screen capped like 30 pictures on Instagram, I've gone through Pinterest, I've gone through Sephora, I've gone through like so many posts looking for like the perfect shade of this sort of color. And for whatever reason, I just hadn't committed to just buying one um, because I just, I wanted to look for that perfect color. Um, and this one came out of the box and I was so excited because it was literally like, again, G and I are on the same mental page and she made this color and it's absolutely stunning and thank you fashion team for making this because it is beautiful. All About Eves is a cream slightly jelly t jelly based um, cobalt blue and it is just that perfect shade. It's not too dark, it's not too light, it's not too creamy and it's not too jelly. It's just, it's that perfect middle ground that I think I have just was nervous about, I think, in not purchasing the other colors that I could have bought. And it's just beautiful. Um, it is slightly darker than Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue, and it's a little bit more jelly formula. Um, it's not as dark as OPI's, um, the royal blue that OPI has. And again, it's not quite as creamy as the OPI one. It is absolutely beautiful. And this applied beautifully as well. This one was opaque, again, in two coats. You can get away with three coats, I think. It won't be too thick if you do three coats with this. Um, it is just a beautiful color. It evens out really, really nicely at two coats as well. Sometimes jelly colors can kind of kind of get like patchy. Um, this one evens out really, really nicely. This one is called Pretty Gritty, and this one is by the Refinery29 beauty department and it is a like a bruised plum sort of purple cream base with a really really bright gold shimmer running through it the gold shimmer has a little bit sort of like a tarnished look to it so it's not like a bright um, like molten gold it's a little bit more of a tarnished gold um, the combination of purple and gold happens to be one of my favorite combos ever in terms of makeup I think gold and purple eyeshadow just pair really beautifully together. Gold and purple just work for me. Um, and so this one, when I swatched it, and it just, it, it first of all, it applies beautifully. This is almost opaque in one coat. I would say you can get away with this in one coat. I use two coats in these swatches, but it's just a beautiful color. It is a really, really good fall color for Thanksgiving, for example. If you're someone that likes slightly darker colors but doesn't want to go too dark and you want shimmer but you don't want to go full out glitter, then this is gonna be a really, really nice color for you. From the technology team, I have the color Elvis in the Cloud, and this one, um, paired with Pretty Gritty, is just like Thanksgiving. Um, I have them swatched just for myself to look at on this little wheel, and I was looking at these before I started filming, and I'm like, that just looks like my Thanksgiving table. Um, this is a really, really beautiful, sort of rusty, bronzy, rich, copper penny color in a metallic finish. The base itself is like an orangey shimmer and then it has a foil of copper as well as a foil of a little bit of a gold in there. So when you sort of move it around and when it kind of plays in the light a little bit, different tones will come out. It's very, very subtly multifaceted. It's 
from a distance going to look very copper penny like on the nail for orange lovers they're gonna love this one because it's really really quite rich and a beautiful color um, and then when you get up close you can see just the playfulness of the color and how the color changes and shifts and just like barely any like color light shift the color will definitely look different. I also liked that with this formula, the brush strokes didn't show up at all. Sometimes with metallic colors, I do get it, get that issue, but didn't get any brush strokes with this. So it's a really, really nice color. Again, it's a really beautiful fall color. It's that sort of falling leaves, pumpkin, pumpkin spice, delicious feeling sort of color, and it's really quite beautiful. This last one is called Galaxy Glue, and it is a, another sort of metallic -y foil color. Um, this one has a base of like a turquoise, and then it goes from turquoise to like a little bit of a tarnish gold in there, to a purple, to a, another turquoise color. It's really hard to describe. It's one of those colors you do have to see in person, so I'll insert a nice little um, screenshot of this thing changing in color, but it is absolutely stunning. Turquoise lovers out there will really, really love this one. I really, really love this one. It also, it also has that same sort of no brush stroke finish. It's very, very easy to work with. This was opaque in two coats. This is another very complicated color, but it's very subtle in its complexity in that when you shift your hand, you'll see a really obvious color shift, but it's not an overwhelming color shift. It's a very subtle, very elegant color shift, and I think it just kind of holds to the whole idea throughout this collection and that nothing is really in your face aggressive and everything is really quite beautiful, but this there is a certain amount of subtlety there that I totally, totally love. I think that's something that G is actually very, very good at with all of her colors. There's always something there that's just so unique and just pops in your face but not in your face which just sounds so like weird to say but it's so true um, this color is just another color like that in that there's this is so G and it's so beautiful and it was so well crafted and I absolutely love it and just refinery 29 amazing collection I think you guys inspired some really really beautiful colors um, and I just I absolutely love it I feel very privileged to be able to share all of these with you guys um, again all of my swatches will be linked down below I will also have um, information on where to purchase as well as what dates to purchase these are going to be sold on Rescue Beauty Lounge's website, so I will link that down below. And these colors will be available on November 10th, which is a Monday. Um, so keep you guys, your guys's, keep your eyes peeled for that. I will have just announcements and stuff on my Instagram as well as my blog and my Twitter, so you guys can um, be fully updated on that and again please go check the description box down below for all of the links to various blog posts as well as all of the information for when this collection comes out um, again I absolutely love this collection it's very very beautiful it's really just it's a very mature collection but it's also got a very fun twist to some of the colors and I just think it's absolutely stunning and it's perfect for this stretch of the year that we're going into with the holidays and with winter coming up. It's not very wintry here in California but I'm sure it's wintry somewhere else. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any comments or questions, uh, leave them down in the description box. I would love to read them and hopefully answer them. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for watching this video. Welcome everyone from Refinery29. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are interested. It would totally make my day. And yeah, I hope you guys are as excited about this collection as I am. I absolutely love these colors. I say that every time G hands me a new collection, but I absolutely love these. These are probably some of my favorite colors that I have ever gotten the privilege of receiving from G. And so yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you guys soon.